All right, I'm here with Fred Goodall from Baker Ripley. What do you guys do as an organization? So Baker Ripley is formerly known as Neighborhood Centers. Uh, we've been in the Houston community working for 110 years. So we provide a variety of services uh, from, from senior services, immigration, uh, education, workforce development. It's all kinds of things to support our youth students to make their way in this town. What can you tell us about the shelter at NRG Center? Uh, we've been uh, operating the shelter for a while since we've been here. Uh, we only have about 1,500 people in the shelter. So, <laughs> But we currently need uh, Estonians to come out and volunteer. You know, a lot of people go into work, um, you know, kind of put some things behind them. But we operate this shelter 24 hours a day, and we will for the next few weeks. Two more so, weeks? No, probably, probably more than that. But right. I, I, we don't know for sure how long we'll be right. As we do this, we need volunteers to support our efforts. Uh, we operate 24 hours a day, so we need you to come every shift. So you can come day, night, after work, before work, on the weekends, whatever you do, we need you to come. What, what are some of these jobs that people can do? There's many jobs to do. Uh, you can serve food, you can uh, welcome people as they come in, you can help them as they exit, gather their things, uh, uh, you can help give them directions to show them what services are available. Uh, if you can have any uh, counseling experience, you can help them have a counselor. Uh, we really need some medical professionals to work night shifts. Uh, we have a medical area of about 1,500 people. Sometimes the night shift is down to 10 people. We need a lot more to care for our guests uh, during the night time. Uh, but there are many, many things that you can do. Just come out with a willing spirit and an open heart and look into the work. Yeah, because I know that the first couple days they were turning people away because there were too many volunteers. Yeah, they, and, but, and, and that's how you should live. People want to help and they want to do as much as they can. So we had an overflow of people who wanted to dedicate their time. We really appreciate that. Uh, but now, if we can get that many volunteers back <laughs> on this end of it, uh, we, really, we really need to the help now. What about from the uh, guest perspective? Where are you accepting people from? It doesn't matter if they're from Houston or Beaumont or Victoria or uh, anyone who needs help for any reason, they're welcome to come. And the one thing about that, we want to make sure people understand, you don't have to be documented to come. Right. No one's going to hassle you, no one's going to give you trouble. Just come to the shelter if you need help, we're going to help you, we're going to take care of you. Have you seen the crowd start to dwindle off a little bit? Or? I mean, it's, the, the crowd is fluctuated. Uh, you know, of course, some people are able to go back to their homes and you know, see you know, what kind of damage may be there. Some people who may go back and find their homes are okay and they can even stay in their homes. Uh, some family members have come to pick up some people. So you know, people are transitioning out and that's kind of where the phase we are right now to help them to start moving out of the shelter because no one wants to live in the shelter. That's, that's just not a good place to stay. So we want to find them more permanent housing and uh, help them to get back in the field. So NRG is being operated by the county, right? And then we're working with the county, uh, Baker Ripley is working with the county. GRB is operated by the city? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, are they, do you even have any idea if they're still at GRB? Or? They're, true, they're winding down. At the they are winding down. So, so if you still need help, go to NRG. Yes, yes. Okay. And some of those people may come to NRG. But I mean, we don't know for sure. But if they want to, they're definitely welcome to come. Um, how about donations? Are you guys accepting donations at the location? We're accepting monetary donations online. Uh, go to bakerrippley.org, donate, and uh, but don't we, don't bring your trash bag full of clothes <laughs> anymore. Well, we will start accepting other types of donations at our community centers. So just follow our social media channels at Baker Ripley uh, on Twitter and on Facebook, and we'll give you that information on uh, where to bring those types of donations. Uh, right now, we have what we need at the uh, end. But people will need things as they move out of energy, and that's where we want to help them. So we'll, we'll post that information about what you can do and how you can help. There will be specific things that we need. So like I said, we don't need people to start bringing you know, a bunch of things that they don't want, they want to be scarred. We have very specific needs on how you can help people. Okay, okay, great. And then uh, just look on the website and you guys will post yeah, that kind of information. Website, make it with you or follow us on social media, constantly updating it with information, so check those out. And for volunteers, uh, what are the qualifications? You need to be like... Uh, you have to be at least 16 years 16. old. 16. At least 16 years old and bring an ID and we'll put you to work. 
Okay. Do you need to sign up or just show up? Or yeah, just sign up on our website, basically.org, volunteer, say it, show up, bring your ID, and we'll put you to work. Which one's, which one's Energy Center? Energy Center is really usually where they have the auto show. Okay, so it's the, it's towards the back, past Energy Stadium. Uh, kind of, if you're looking from 610, it's kind of towards the back right corner of the lot. Yeah, yeah where they have, usually have the rodeo events. Yeah. yeah. And they're in the car show and all those types of events. Do you have any other uh, tips or contact info or anything else? Man, just continue to follow us uh, at Baker Ripley uh, on social media, on our website, bakerripley.org. Donate. What about what about uh, like uh, local offices? Don't you have like other local offices as well? In addition to the yeah, we have sixty plus locations so we're on town. So we have workforce development and we have our community centers uh, at various places where, we, where people can come and get various services, but also things that they're part of the community. Uh, I, th I think I got like uh, mortgage training or something at one. Of the Offices or something like that. Yeah. We, we have uh, tax preparation and training. We have entrepreneur classes, uh, uh, business development classes, Zumba classes. Can, can you get can you get support, Harvey Relief support from any of those locations as well? well we're, or? We're, we're working on we have our centers right now. Right. Set up some, some things for the people kind of the community center. So, so we're still working on that, but it'll be up and running probably in the next few days. All right. So you heard it about t uh, around two more weeks, at least two more weeks at the Energy Center. Uh, keep those volunteers coming in. How many volunteers do you need per shift? Uh, to, to effectively run uh, what we're doing, we probably need at least three, four hundred. Three or four hundred volunteers per shift, twenty-four hours a day. Is that? Um, an eight-hour shift, or just come in whenever you can and do a couple hours. We, we six, want yeah. you to do at least four or five, four or five hours, but yeah. as much as you can. You can do. All right, so check out the uh, website, Bake Ripley, or on Facebook or on Twitter. Uh, go in and volunteer. Yep. Fred, thanks yep. so much. Thanks. Thank you. you bet. Yeah.